I watched a, a I sent y'all a link I think John or I sent y'all a short clip but like John Stewart had fucking Hillary Clinton and Condoleezza Rice on his show garbage just what? fucking for Wait, what oh when? I think I a week or two ago. Oh, I, I just thought you were talking in the early 2000s, post 9 nope. 11. I saw nope. a brief clip. <laughs> just was it the now. one where she's talking about Gaddafi? <laughs> Can you imagine somebody talk to Condoleezza Rice and a Cl- week and ago? Clinton. Do, do you, do you remember, was that the clip where he, I saw a clip he, where he was he, talking to her about Gaddafi. He did bring and up And she's Gaddafi, like, well, yeah. look, you know, Gaddafi was a huge threat. Everyone knew that. And John's <laughs> just like, yeah. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, obviously. I yeah. mean, let's be yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was the whole interview. Yeah. And there was, and it's like John Stewart, like, I want to love you so bad because you're such a lovable person and you're yeah. funny, and like he's fighting for the nine eleven for it's like you're doing so many great things, but stop being a fucking ass licker, dude. Yeah, like, bro. It's just like I thought you were gonna say liberal, but that's the same thing. Same thing. Mean. Yeah, but same thing. in not a hot homosexual way. In like a <laughs> in like boo in, a, in a derogatory I was gonna say, way. Boo licker. Let's be creative. Yeah. Ass licker. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I let's really unpack this. Like, I don't. I want to understand the cognitive dissonance with people as intelligent as him. Right. I. I, I really What's don't. What's going I, on? I don't there? want the. I don't want to say, oh, class solidarity, bourgeoisie. They're of the same, you know, he's in mainstream media and then call yeah. it. I don't. Right. It can't just be that. Right. I think. Sure. It, that's a component of it. Of course, it's a component of it, but it can't. He's too smart. That's where my brain. I just default to like deeper philosophical stuff of like, OK, maybe this person's really just a fucking nihilist and they're resigned to this and they're just playing this role to get this check or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, my brain tries to just find a way to make it make I mean, sense. Bro, I feel I like it's, it's Stockholm syndrome a little bit too. You kind of can't help but like he can't can't help out but fan out about oh big Democrat president. Yeah. Let me talk to her and be nice to her and shit. Right. I mean, I like think, oh, yeah. I, like I, a power. Yeah, because right. it's like it's attractive to him probably. Well, I think consciously you got right. this, you, you got this like rehabilitation of like right wing figures image like George W. Bush, yeah. fucking Condoleezza Rice. Now all these people that are just not Trump republicans and so now we have this like not we but like now people have this fucking like we're we're working on like (laughs) starry-eyed view of these of just people that just kind of like fell in line with the regular partisan shit Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and and i think it's just like entertainment industry social pressure because it's like ultimately they're putting a show on you know uh, and that's all it comes down to. And you just don't want to rock the vote just because you don't want to you don't want to spook them. You don't want to scare I, these fucking politicians. I mean, bro, look, I was on. Can't fathom. I mean, look, can't fathom having yeah, that I mean, much money and still. That's the thing. That, that was my first thought yeah. is like can't fathom is it. like but that. He has the money. I think, I think that's well, that's real. But yeah. for myself, I'm like, I cannot fathom. But that. the way I feel like I, I get it, though, because the way entertainment works it's like people even that you're working with or under you are still influencing you to be more towards the machine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're like, no, nah, yeah. we got to get Hill Dog on. I mean, that's great. We got, yeah, we, exactly. we confirmed a Hillary interview. We got to do yeah, it. Exactly. We got to do it. And yeah. he's like, ah, okay. Yeah. And then if you're going to do it, you got to do it all the way. So you got to act like, you know, so yeah. I can see kind of how he gets to that. I mean, because- like, bro, you brought it up. I was on a show with Ted Danson and I had to pretend that I don't know he did blackface. I'm right. supposed to, I'm just supposed to just like, <laughs> right. You know, there's just certain shit you just. But you're I not think a multi millionaire. That's where but I. That's where but multi millionaires would same still shit. It's be the same influenced sh- by that because that's the structure of entertainment. I guess if yeah, they're reliant, if they're reliant on this standard of living, especially too. Yeah, they, I feel they like built unless this whole lifestyle around that that tax bracket right. too. They're like, well, this is the I can't let the well run dry. Right. Yeah, you it's know? like, most like of unless you're people, genuinely retired. And like literally yeah. just living within your means and not working, like, yeah, yeah. up to the highest level, you're yeah, gonna be it's influenced like, to do certain things. Most of those people, what are they realistically gonna do for work if they right. leave the entertainment industry? You right. know what I'm saying? It's like you don't really have a lot of, you kind of, you kind of like remove yourself of of other options. You mm-hmm. know, is it's like they have this attitude in the entertainment industry that once you get to a certain level, you're like you're above certain types of work. You yeah, know what I'm saying, yeah, like, um, I mean, I've had calls with 
managers, agents, all these people that are just kind of like you're you're at this level, so we don't want to like we don't want to put you in this position because people right. will start to view you that way. Oh, there's so all types fucked. of I mean, there's all types of shit where like if you're a writing assistant in a writer's room, you don't want to be too good at your job because people mm-hmm. then view you as like, oh, you're a really good writer's assistant and they don't want to lose you. Yeah. So like, uh, damn, what the fuck was I building toward? I lost my train of thought. Well, you're, you're uh, talking about how you build yourself up, but that also becomes, it's literally more oh, yeah, money, it's more shackles. problems. It's becomes, it becomes, mom, yes, more money, more literally, problems. Literally, the age old adage. Yeah, it's like you shackle yourself to this like, this constant progress Mm -hmm. to where if you dip even a little bit that means you're done do you know what i think one part of it is i think it's tiny like baby steps of like rationalizations over time very gradual yeah Yeah. that then you you start here but then you end up way over here and you've rationalized quote unquote yourself into a space that is so far removed from what your initial intentions may have been or your yeah. your own yeah. self-professed code may have been. Um, and that's really, that is probably with the very self-aware, introspective, reflective people. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. It's, yeah, I guess it's just, it's it's still, it trips me out. No, I like, think you're honest with me. I think it is yeah. a series of rationalizations um like it starts yeah. with one thing like oh well it's all i gotta I mean, do this thing it's not ideal and it doesn't really represent me but it's a stepping stone to in my career and then you, right. so you do that and then then the next you're even deeper and you're like whoa like this is kind of weird but if i don't do this well then it's blah blah blah, blah. so it's it's like you're never hitting you the know off it, ramp you're right never, you're never getting right off. and i think a part of my just being like what is I would think if I, I'm not in someone like John Stewart's head. I have no idea what the fuck he's <laughs> thinking. But it's like if I had the career that he had, and then I, you know, f- fake retired or whatever. I had. Mm-hmm. I'm rich. I have a huge profile. That's the. That's the other thing too. Is sometimes these people don't actually understand the power and strength that they have on their own without mm-hmm. the mega the corporations or whatever too, thing. right? Yeah. But it's like, if they did, they would know, oh, well, I can just start my own podcast and then rake yeah. in six figures a year if everything else failed because I have millions of people out there that are love me and will love me until they die. It, it yeah, is some old right. school shit, the fact that he's got this whole show right. and there's these high pro... Right. Imagine if he just did what Sam Cedar does. Like every day, right? Yeah, right. millions would tune in to right. watch that. Yeah, right. Absolutely, he doesn't have to have right. a goddamn production company right. behind his shit. Right, yeah. he could do it all himself. Right. Well, it's like people people <clears throat> also have all these relationships they they built up through the industry. They feel like I feel like a lot of there is a lot of pressure that makes you believe that if you go off on your own in that way, that you that you lose everything. You lose access. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like. You know, very uh, weird because yeah, he, he's at the bizarre. galas with Colbert and the presidential dinners and the yeah, correspondence yeah, all that, exactly all this bougie fucking bullshit yeah right? it's like ultimately whether it's <laughs> you know being rich just being rich is not enough yeah. you gotta it's the status right Bro, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, the yeah, status yeah. of a fucking person shitting on the sidewalk give, give me the <laughs> yeah, bread I don't right. give a fuck exactly. <laughs> hand over the bread right. I don't give a fuck yeah but I mean <laughs> I mean bro it's like ultimately like you said, the correspondence center, it's like you have, you kind of have to have a relationship with those people to even yeah. be at something like that and participate in something like that. His, to his it, replacement to fullest, on the daily know? show, same kind of deal. Yeah. Same kind of vibe. Yeah. You know, can I go take it to another layer? It's not, it's a different thread in conversation, but it's related. And I, I was literally just reflecting on it today um, because, and this is like, this is like a spicy territory for, you know, if the shoe fits, if if this applies mm. to you, then you, this is going to strike you and bother you and make you itch. Uh, <laughs> but it's okay. unlike everything we talk about. Right. Damn near. Well, you'll, you'll get what I'm saying mm-hmm. um, when I get into the nuances of it, but it's like another sp- just speaking to the status thing. And then it's, it really is a culture too. It's like, there's a bourgeois culture and 
I think this is another part of the 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 threat of baby step rationalizations or whatever you want to call it of like you you work your way up to this place and this status and this power and this wealth and this access and you realize like well shit like I'm I'm still my I want to be my own human and I still I want to believe what I want that's what they want to believe of themselves like I, yeah. I I am I I am I don't I think for myself and I and I speak the truth as I understand it I I don't I'm not fake I'm real or whatever mm -hmm. but they're saying this sort of like within this very cushiony industrial and like class-based context where they know truly that they're gonna be fine and like they have they have so much they're in their networks they have so much power and connections that as long as i keep it within yeah. these bounds and these limits right. yeah i'm good and it's like manufacturing consent it's like well i all i have to do is if i want to signal to people morally that i'm a good person or i'm going against the grain a little bit or i got an edge to me well this is as far as i can i can push it and that's where i'm going to push it in this moment in this time in this discourse point yeah. This isn't the 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 deeper layer of it. I'm thinking about the people who are still in the same sort of the same world. They're at the same, maybe not at the same level or status as a John Stewart, but they're in the same world. They have insane access. They have wealth, and they've maybe even made a name for themselves mm -hmm. off, <clears throat> off of speaking radical truths or yeah. anti-capitalist truth. I was thinking about this today in the context of like, and I actually had a, a, a phone call or a meeting with someone recently um, where I was referencing a, a conversation I had years back where I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to keep things ambiguous and anonymous. Mm -hmm. They were essentially, they were trying to big up someone for the educational work that they did and the impact that it had yeah and they were saying it's enough like th at a certain level like that's enough you know it's like yeah. that's enough that 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 was done and it and and i disagreed with that like just off of the merit of like well my whole thing is about us getting free and like <laughs> creating a new world and like a, a new system or whatever yeah. so in the context of that, is it enough? I don't know that it, it's enough. If if we're all just if people are learning things and then they're just like, oh, I know this thing, isn't this? Oh, you know. Yeah. Um, but I, I, it also made me think about how there's a whole apparatus uh, of people, especially in entertainment, where their bread and butter, their money, is in. It's like they're there to 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 say the really like radical edgy thing right but at the end of the day everyone in the industry even the people bankrolling they know oh well no one's gonna do anything with that yeah it's like how do i how how do i shake things up in this but keep it in this little context and right. how that's yeah. kind of a, a co-opt right yeah. and let me right, right. and i just want to say there is there there's nothing wrong with being able to get a radical message out to an, a, a large amount of people even if you're if you're it is wrong if you're at a certain level if you're using the, the exploiting yeah, yeah if it's based upon systems of exploitation but i meant i meant that to say like if you're in reaching people in that way that's a that's a good thing but to act like that is quote unquote enough mm -hmm. is just like yeah, that is yeah. where it is co-optation. Everything you're doing is just literally ca capital is just absorb reabsorbing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and it's like nothing breaks the cycle, nothing breaks the chain. There has to be something in at least how you're producing the art, how you're making the art, the the practice of making the art and getting it out that reflects the values that you're espousing. And that's where like a lot of these these people, I'm not gonna name names, I'm sure you already have names in your head as I'm yeah. describing this, but that's that's where there's a, there's a, it's subtle, but it's so important. Like that's where there's a divide. Mm, and I'm thinking yeah. about, I'm thinking about this too, <clears throat> because there's artists, they're legends 
they've they're they've been creating for decades whether it's music or film or television and people label it subversive and they label it punk or whatever but the reality is there's no like there's it's not like a Mm -hmm. (laughs) there's nothing prefigurative that was ever done Mm -hmm. right so all this served to do is just make some people a lot of money maybe put some radical seeds in people's minds maybe it's it's led some people to some other things but is it enough i don't i don't think it is if you're someone who's like yeah about what they're talking about you know 